For what purpose does the gentleman from Illinois rise? The gentleman's recognized for one minute. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, as a United States citizen, we are blessed with many freedoms. Among those is the right to freely speak our minds. While freedom of speech is one of the things that makes our country great, it also means we have to endure the words of a hate monger like Ann Coulter. In her new book, The Goddess of the Right Slanders the 9-11 Widows, writing, and I quote, these broads are millionaires, lionized on TV and in articles about them, reveling in their status as celebrities and stalked by grief raisers. I have never seen people enjoying their husband's death so much. Lest, Mrs. Lest Ms. Coulter forget, more than 3,000 Americans were killed simply because they lived in the United States. That doesn't matter to Ms. Coulter because she's doing it to enrich herself. But there is something more sinister in Ms. Coulter's words. The hate she spews is the same kind of hatred we're battling in the war on terror. As a country of thought and reason, I urge all of us to reject it. And I must ask my colleagues on the other side of the aisle, does Ann Coulter speak for you when she suggests poisoning not Supreme Court justices or slanders the 9-11 widows? If not, speak now. Your silence allows her to be your spokesman. She should apologize to all of us who've lost our fellow citizens on 9-11. For what purpose does the gentleman from Indiana rise? Yes, he is. Consent to advise and extend. Gentleman's recognized for one minute.